All right, folks. So now what we've done is we've got cheese wax and I've just got it to where it has softened into a liquid and it's already starting to solidify um, off of, of um, the heat. If, if uh, you put it on and it is too uh, warm, what's going to happen is it's just going to run off the side of the log. It isn't going to seal as well as it could. And you have to work fairly quickly because this is already starting to, um, to solidify to the point where it doesn't really want to seal and cover that entire hole. Normally, uh, paintbrushes are, are kind of, uh, they get gummed up and, and uh, we like to use these little daubers. We don't like to paint with it. Um, I didn't have any of those daubers right today, so we're going to be doing it with a paintbrush. Um, so not ideal, but it will work. What we're doing is we're just sealing in the moisture. So these uh, dowels have a chance to, to keep getting moisture from the log and, and we're not drying it out. So you can see every step uh, in this process takes a little bit of time. That's one of the things that, that if you're going to do uh, mushroom cultivation, it's one of those things you, you want to have friends, neighbors, family come on over create an assembly line with one person drilling, probably two to three people that are putting the plugs in, and then one or two with the wax. Um, pretty much you saw how fast that drill worked. Um, one person with the drill can pretty much keep up with uh, the rest of the crews, and, and you can really do a lot of mushroom logs in a short amount of time. If you're looking at purchasing uh, the plugs and the spawn, which uh, I would highly recommend, um, get by volume and, and get a work crew together and you'll be amazed what a half a day of work will, will produce uh, and then you just divvy up the, the supplies. You can see already that it's, it's starting to really solidify. I'm going to get this back on the heat. You want to be careful anytime you're, you're heating wax that you don't get it near its combustion point. Um, and that's why I like uh, this cheese wax because it has a low melting point and, and it works well for this pro or process. So right there, our log is now complete. We, we have it sealed. We're just going to let it cure before we take it out. Uh, and so now we just need to, to uh, do a few more logs and then move out to the log yard where we're gonna let them sit for a year.